Hello, welcome to Diaspora Network, uh, the TV that presents the reality for the people of Diaspora. The TV we have conceived is to allow the people from different countries living in Toronto to express themselves about their reality. How do they live? How do they integrate themselves? Where do they work? What do they eat? And so on. Today, today I'm very honored to have uh, my brother here from, uh, from Jamaica. Uh, he lives in Toronto. Uh, perhaps you could uh, introduce yourself a little bit, a few words, and then we'll have our discussion. My name is Howard Blake, um, 39 years old, live in Toronto. I'm from Jamaica, Kingston, Jamaica, Tivola Garden. I've been in Canada from 1983, and I, I came to Canada. I live in Jane Finch. Jane Finch is a nice place. Some people say it's bad, but you gotta be here to see it for yourself. There's good and bad in the world everywhere you go. Well, you gotta come and see for yourself. You are living in this neighborhood, everybody gets along with everybody. There's a lot of police brutality, but we get along, get around that. But we just do what we gotta do to live and survive. Some people work, like I say, some people sell drugs, some people do a lot of things, some people rob. But I'm from Jamaica, and Jamaicans, we grew up on ground food like yam, dumpling, banana curry goat, oxtail, rice and peas, chicken, it all works. Right. Well in Canada here, there's a lot of fast food place here too, especially in Toronto, like you got Kentucky, you got pizza, pizza, double, double, you got a Chinese store, but I love my Jamaican food, I love my Canadian food, I love even African food too. Wow, that's, uh, that's, that's exactly what we're going to be talking about during this uh, broadcast. Yes. Uh, as I was saying, you know, the reason why we have to save this, uh, this, uh, this, this TV, basically, is to allow... It, it seems like there's a confusion among people. Let's say, for example, African people have a f different opinion about the way making leagues and so on. Mm -hmm. But in reality, when we get together, there is a sense of we share common yes. cultures. We, we, we eat what you, you guys eat yes. and so on. So my question to you is that how do Jamaicans integrate themselves here in Toronto? Here in Toronto, Jamaicans, like, as you said, these are different kind of, what do I call it now? What justify that Jamaican comes to Toronto in the first place? Well, they hear about Canada, mm -hmm. and they hear about America, they hear about England. Canada system works, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to the health care and jobs and welfare system here too. All that works in Canada, and Canada is a safe place to live, especially when it comes to the cops and crime rates and stuff. They, they work fast, mm -hmm. and people feel more safer in Canada, especially Jamaicans. Mm -hmm. Well, we come here, and we work, some of us work, some of us do what we do in Jamaica, like hustle. Mm -hmm. Like, you have all kind of hustle. Some people sell clothes, some people sell food, some people open restaurants, some, some are tailors, some are dressmakers, you know? All kind of jobs, right. but in in Canada here, I think we use the Jamaican strategy to survive. All right, All like right. get up every day, get a job, go on the road mm -hmm. to feed your family, feed your kids, mm -hmm. and get along. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of bad and good in everywhere in the world. In everywhere in the world, in the yeah. world. But there is something that always surprises me when I do when I did arrive here in Toronto for the very mm -hmm. first place. I was renting my small, you know, it was like a small bachelor. Bachelor, right. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was living in a Jamaican house. Okay. And it was quite surprising, you know what I mean? Uh, the way they were living, I was like, wow. Mm -hmm. That comes up very similar from the way we were living in Toronto. I mean, in back home, even yeah. though I didn't grow up back home, but still, I had that feeling, that connection. Something with similar. Exactly, right. But I mean, but what did surprise me is that when you go to the Jamaican community, mm -hmm. I've, I, I personally feel very comfortable. Yes. I feel Jamaican yes. are very friendly, they're very welcoming, and, and so on. But when people talk about Jamaican, they tend to present Jamaican as dangerous people. Bad. You know what I mean? It's like dangerous. people like, that like, they're involved in crime, selling drugs, and so it, From far, it looks like that's all Jamaican do in this country. Not all of us, though. Mm -hmm. As I said, there's good and bad. Right. People choose to do what they do. Like Some people like fast money, some people like the honest working money. Right. There's a lot of Jamaican that go to church, work, mm -hmm. come home, live a, a, a normal life like a regular Canadian, right. a regular American, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And there's Jamaicans that go there to get their fast money, to do what they got to do, because mm -hmm. enough of them have a lot of stress, a lot of family back home they want to bring here to. Right. Plus, back home it's not so nice. Okay. And you said it's familiar. Similarity, yes. Yeah, between African and Jamaican. We all black because people. we are Africans. That's right. 
Even all those small Bahamas, countries, and islands and stuff. Right. All of us came from Africa. That's right, yeah. It's just that a slave ship drop off some there, some there, and some there. That's how it goes, yeah. Even the food, similar, like, you guys like fried fish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beans mm -hmm. and rice. That's right, yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's Especially right. yam and stuff. Mm -hmm. You like those stuff, too. Right. So that's coming from, like, the roots. Mm -hmm. And the roots is African. That's right. So... Jamaican is African, That's right. but they're just in their different way. Mm -hmm. It's a little small island, but it's big in the world. That's right. Because it's anywhere Jamaican goes, it's like, blow up. Talking about mm -hmm. Jamaican being big, I have to congratulate you on behalf of uh, our brother right Thank there. Thank you very much. A hundred mm -hmm. meters, he made it. Yeah. The world, you know, the world champions. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, Jamaican has a lot to bring to the world. I mean, yeah. not only in terms of sport, in terms mm -hmm. of music, in yes. terms of cultures, uh, specifically when you go to Caribana, for example. I want to get down to that now. That is right. So okay. uh, let's talk about it. Caribana. Me um, now. Mm. I'm going to tell you a history about me now. Uh, I used to be a real bad guy. I changed my life. I turned an entertainer. Okay. You could ask anybody about me in the community. I do music. I be on Caribana floats. Mm -hmm. I'm talking from 1992 right back to 2001. Mm -hmm. Doing floats, doing state shows, like all the entertainers from Jamaica, even entertainers from Africa, from right. Ghana. Okay. I open shows for them. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. That's my gig. That's right. I hype up the crowd, do my music. Mm -hmm. I used to do music and stuff. Mm -hmm. 2010, I was in the studio doing some music. Right doing some recording and stuff, mm -hmm. and some guys came to rap the studio. Mm -hmm. It was only me and the engineers there, I was in the booth doing my thing, and they shot the engineer, they shot me, and I ran, and I dropped, they shot me again, and I got up and ran again, they shot me again. They shot me three times. Took my jewelry, took my wallet, took all my personal stuff, and left me, rabbit time, two garbage, from 2.30 to 5.30. I said, God is good. God is real good. Mm -hmm. When I came out my coma and get out of this, I couldn't walk for about a year. I started walking nine months ago. All my people have known me and know that I'm a real good guy. I'm not a bad, bad guy. I'm a good guy still. I used to be bad, but I changed my life. So right, yeah. when I came out my coma and came out all of this, my mom was fighting cancer too. And I said, you know what? Enough is enough. That's right. Turn my life to God. Mm -hmm. I'm in church. I'm mm -hmm. for my church. That's it. Yeah, man. Congratulations. Yeah. I'm very glad. I'm very proud. Well, we can hear the audience. We can hear the audience uh, mm -hmm. making shout and so yeah. on. So, I mean, you know, I mean, well, I mean we're all Christian right, right here. You know, we believe in okay, God. Watch this. That's right. My church is uh -huh. a Jamaican and African church. Okay. My yeah. pastor is an African from Ghana. Mm -hmm. His name is Alfred. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to ask yeah. the audience to remain yeah. quiet. Uh, we have a lot of people here, obviously. Yeah. We're in the studio. Uh, I brought my big man here because, you know what I mean, like I said, this is a diaspora people. I mean, like diaspora televisions. It's all about asking how do people conceive themselves. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we tend to identify some community as being good or bad or whatsoever. But the, the only way to get to find out about the reality, the true reality, is to have an opportunity to discuss with them, for them to share yes. their personal experience. So yes. I'm very glad to hear. You know, what I mean, this is for me is like a prophecy. You know, what I mean, you're yes. talking about something that happened, yes. which completely yes. changed your life. I mean, a living testimony. Man. That is right. A living yeah. testimony. And you also mentioned. A earlier than kind of a safe place for Jamaicans. Yes. Is that what you were referring yes. to? Yes. It's okay. a safe place not even only for Jamaican. Okay. For other cultures too and everybody. Right. It's just how you situate yourself, how you want to make your money, mm -hmm. how you want to do your thing. Right. And I think the legit way is the most best way. Okay. Because I used to be a drug seller. Mm -hmm. I'm not afraid to say that. That's right. And I stopped that. Mm -hmm. Even before I went to the studio and do music, right. I stopped selling drugs because I seen it was hurting people. Mm -hmm. Although the money is fast, the money is good, right. it comes quick, mm -hmm. but you gotta watch your back for the cops, mm -hmm. you gotta watch for robbers, mm -hmm. you gotta, you know, you're hurting people at the same time, you're looking at your national family and stuff, you really look at it, you say, you know what, it's not good. Right. So I stopped doing that, now I saw clothes. That's my clothes business. Well, I'm looking at you myself, you know what I mean? Now, you sure, have, uh, yeah. you know, I don't see the <laughs> So, uh, what is this message you have for the youth to make and all still consider yeah. doing what you were doing before is the only way of doing things? What, what do you have to do to tell them? I'm a Jamaican and I love Jamaica. Right. But what I say though, it's not too late to change your ways. Mm -hmm. Don't follow what they're doing. We're all Jamaicans, they're going to give us blame anyway. So, you know what? Prove them wrong and do the right thing. 
Live for God. Amen. Prove them wrong and do the right thing. Show them wrong. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, let me explain myself. Uh, we are in the studio here, and usually, usually, it's not often that we bring a lot of people to the studio. He's a superstar, and obviously, uh, when he moves around with people, you know, I mean, running after him, so that it justify why, you know, you're getting shout from the audience and so on. Yes. So, um, you know, it's 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 a great honor for me not only to interview my friend here, but I mean, we're going to be meeting with more Jamaicans to yes. discuss about their reality yes. and you know, what I mean, the yes. culture. You know, what I mean? I'm a fan of Jamaican. You know, what I mean, yes. at one point people were thinking I was Jamaican, <laughs> but I mean, lately they thought I was Nigerian, which is yes. fine, which is yes. fine, but uh, but. It's but it's fine. But you know what, what I'm saying is, what is I mean? Perhaps you know what I mean. This shirt is only for made for. Uh, uh, perhaps, perhaps you know what we'll do. I'll take a little shirt break and we'll be right back. Thank you. Amen. Well, this is me. This is what you see. What you get. Clothes I sell. Clothes I have. Bags, pants, shoes, everything. I want to thank Despora TV for giving me this opportunity. They call me Shabba but it's AK Brother Blake. Got the suits, got the vests, we got the blazers, we got the shoes, we got the ladies' shoes, we got the ladies' clothes, the man's clothes, the kids' clothes. Call me 647-706-7215, Toronto. 647-706-7215. You get me at that number, you get me on my email, howardblake01 at gmail.com. I repeat again, howardblake01 at gmail.com. Link me up on that. Tell me you want. I deliver to you anything you want. Welcome back to our show. I'm having a great privilege to have my friend here. We've been talking about the Jamaican community. And once again, like I was as I was saying on the introductions, uh, the Diaspora Network TV, it's all about talking with the different people of the diaspora living in Canada. So before we take our break, I was having a great conversation uh, mm -hmm. with my, my friend here who had said amazing things. I, I'm sure this would be a touchy video, especially for the youth and you know, I mean, the Jamaican yes. community yes. and also for Canadian and all the diaspora people in any case. Um, before we end our interview, but I just want to inform that, you know what I mean, I'm probably going to set up another time where we can meet up with a lot of Jamaican, have a little okay. debate, you know what I'm I mean, right. discuss about our reality here in yes. Toronto. And so on. So, I mean, what would you like to share in terms of what you're doing? You say you're in the clothing business right now, mm -hmm. which is fashion, which is what yeah. most youth are all about, you know what I mean? So what can you tell them, perhaps, talk to the Jamaicans and uh, uh, inform them about the diaspora television as well? Yes. And we'll take it from there. Well, this is a good opportunity to say, as a Jamaican, I'm proud of myself and I'm proud of my country, my little island, but it's so big in the world. And to the youth them out there, well, may I translate now in a part of a style now. To the youth them out there, as a Jamaican, don't make them blame me for everything. Prove them wrong. Do what you gotta do right. And put God first and everything will come true for you. But as I'm saying out there, there's a lot of things to make money out there. You don't have to be selling drugs or doing anything wrong. Just put your mind to it and put faith behind it and put God first and everything it be okay. You see me as a man? For real, man. As a Jamaican, you know. You see them as a blame me? Uh-huh. We're a born African. Respect. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir, may I say. All right. For real, man. I can promise the Jamaican mm -hmm. people by the end of this year, I would have... I would do my homework for sure, and I would be able to say something in part, or at least two or three sentences. So, which will make sense? For real which time. will make sense? For real time. But I mean, for now, I'm very honored. For now, I'm very honored. Uh, yeah, it's man. a great privilege for me. I'm saying hi to most of my friends, making I'm not going to name all of them because there are so many of them out. Yes, amen. But uh, I want to tell you, this is your television. You want to discuss about your reality. Yes. Yeah. TV is viewed around the world in Europe, Africa. Asia, India, and so on. So there is no frontier. And most definitely, this show would be uh, viewed by people from Caribbean and so on. I agree. So you do have a business. You have a business uh, initiative. Uh, mm -hmm. You need to build a business plan. I'm an accountant as well. You know what I mean? Our motivation is to encourage the youth, you know what I mean, like you were saying, to focus, doing the right thing. Doing the right thing is being able to yes. create money by yourself. Mm -hmm. So for today, uh, it's, a, it's a great pleasure. Uh, your um, anchor, uh, Emi Kabuya, from the uh, Diaspora TV, Perhaps the last word before we end up our show. I have one more thing to say. Mm -hmm. 
I may mean, speak to us straight. God gave everybody something inside of them. Until they can recognize that, then they can be a rich person in life. Remember that. Irie. I Perhaps you don't know, but you are a rich person. God yes. bless. Talk to you later. Yes. Make a Amen. Amen. Shut up.